Teach me grappling. What's up, guys? Brian Peterson. Tonight, I have Dylan help me out. Guys, this is going to be video number two on deep half guard. Another drill. Nothing too fancy. A uh, very useful drill to help you work on your deep half guard. I'm going to briefly show you guys the entry again. Again, you can get into this a lot of different ways. This is the way I like to teach it. But again, you can, you can do many different setups to get into deep half. So check this out. First, I've got Dylan here in my half guard. And again, I'm playing a little knee shield, okay? My hand's here in his chest. My other hand's gonna be blocking his arm. This knee is down. So if this leg is up, as I discussed before, it's very hard to shift his weight. But sometimes when a guy's here, he'll put his knee back away from you. He'll keep his knee at a distance and then he'll start to peek his right knee through. At that time, that's when I separate him. I kick with the knee shield leg, and then I pull the ankle back with my half guard leg. At that moment, I immediately dive my head forward, and I swing my left leg. My right hand is controlling between the legs. Sometimes you can go here. I like to usually post this leg in the beginning, I'm pushing him above my head. So if he wanted to put weight on his right foot, it's difficult. Do you feel that? Yep. Yeah, it's hard to put weight. So now I can swing and go here. Now, if my opponent does, that's okay. You're kind of new at this, Dylan. Some people will do this. If they do this, you immediately go with the flow and just kind of use this arm. My shoulder pushes into his hamstring, his butt region. As I pop my head out, and now I've got his ankle, I'm coming up for the back. So if someone kind of goes to their knees, you want to try to use that momentum to basically make it a little like backdoor escape. You know, that's what deep half guard is in the beginning. It just becomes a way for you to pop out the back door safely. See, when, uh, go to the mount. When, when someone does a backdoor escape like this, where they put their arm between and then they try to throw the person like this and get up, I don't have the ankle. So if I do this, what Dylan does is he just kind of pinch your knees together. Yeah, like that. So it's a little hard for me. Now you see how my elbow's out. When I try to go, go ahead and go with it and just grab my arm and pull. Yeah, so like when, just fall down and pull. And now look, he's got you right in the triangle. Ah and you've got a pretty good triangle yourself, and he's got me. So what deep half guard does is it creates that old school backdoor escape in a safer manner because by keeping his leg between my legs, I'm ensuring that he's never going to get me in a triangle. At least that's my goal. I'm not saying it can never happen. It, it, sometimes it does. But we'll get, get to that some other time. Okay, so I get into deep half guard. Okay, I straighten the guy's leg out. I swing, I get to the classical deep half guard position, okay? So once I'm here like this, I keep this elbow in, okay? I don't wanna expose my arm, like take a nice underhook. This could be bad. Like if you give up this arm, he's gonna start exploiting your weakness of your elbow being out, and he can arm bar that. So we're gonna keep our elbow in. Sometimes you're gonna see stuff like this, which is good as well, hiding your arm beneath right behind the knee on his leg that you have between. So remember, as I make this backdoor escape that I'm showing right now, I have his leg between my legs. So if I was going like this and you saw the opportunity for a triangle, say you were gonna grab that wrist or arm and you were gonna just roll over, no, like go to your knees and roll over. As we land like this, guys, I'm now pinching on his ankle. So even if you pulled my arm now, you see, I still have your ankle, so I'm not immediately in a triangle. I can then grab onto your ankle and start to walk through and pass the guard. And that's not the only way, but that could happen. Okay, so let's get to the drill I keep talking about. So what I want you to do, Dylan, is just put your leg up like this. So the position is gonna be, he's on his knee and his other leg is straight more or less, okay? And then what the deep half guard player is gonna practice 
is we're going to practice sliding in here. Position the ankle near your crotch. So you're not going to be way up here like you would be in regular half guard. You're going to be down here and you're going to slide in and you're going to put your, your head, you kind of got a little pillow right here. And then my arm, my shoulders all the way around his leg and I've got control of his leg. The elbow is in and then again, watch, watch what I'm going to do right here. Go ahead and lift your arm just for the yeah. camera so they can see. So now, here's my rule. If his knee is pointing parallel with the floor, which it is right now, or down, I always pop out the back door. So even just make it sideways. So if he's like this, I put pressure. You see how my elbows, it's like my arms are moving like this. As I pop out the back door, we get up. See that? That's your first basic escape of deep half guard. Now, what he does as a basic move to shut you down, my shoulder's behind his hamstring and I'm trying to put pressure like this way. So he naturally puts some weight against you. Now that kind of weight and the turning of his knee. So you see his hip, if his knee turns like this, even though you've got weight on my shoulder, yeah. watch out what happens when I push. See how it pushes my head out the back and it allows me to pop out the back door for that back door escape. But if his knee starts to turn, now when I put pressure, that I'm not going anywhere. So when an opponent turns the knee upward, notice also the toes are pointing upward. This is now the time to take the top leg, which is now my right, and I'm not tight on his leg, guys. I don't squeeze his leg. I never let him take his leg out, take the leg out. That would be bad, because now I'm gonna get triangled. So I keep his leg, but it's floating. It's floating in between my legs. So if he tried to pull his leg out, like I have it, but it's not like super tight. Now, if you ever felt like your opponent was gonna take it out, you could pinch, but you could lock, you could do stuff. You can, you can hold it a bunch of different ways, but I, I'm not tight. I don't hold onto this thing really tight. Okay, it's a very relaxed position. So again, since his knee is pointing up and he has a little bit of pressure on my right shoulder, I can't pop out the back, I can't. So I take the top leg and I swing. Once I do that, I post it, this hand, the hand in the front, my head is in his stomach, chest region, my left arm wraps around his leg. And now that I'm here, I use my right hand to elevate my hips and get up. The whole time, I also have a now a trap of his leg so that if he wanted to bail and like try to just run, I've got his leg. And now we can tackle and take him down. Okay, now go ahead, get back up in that position. So in the drill though, we did an escape right now where I came out from the front. I didn't do a backdoor escape, I came out the front. So now I'm gonna go back the way I came, I, and this is one of the hardest parts of the drill. I know this will look very simple at first, but it'll get complicated when you do it, because you'll wanna dive your head through. Don't dive your head through. Watch what I do, I dive my arm through, and I go back to the original deep half guard set position, like this. See that? Now once I go to here, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna continue the momentum, punch in my right arm, and I post on this one, I post my left hand. So when I pop out the back, post the left hand. Get up, there's your takedown, your back control. I, I think I discussed last time, I'm not sure, possibly a Kimura can happen because your head's on the backside. It's a little bit dangerous. So keep that in mind, um, be ready for it, but it's, it's a part of the business, okay? And then once we're here, I'm gonna go back to the drill. I dive my head through to get back to deep half guard. And then what do I do? I whip the top leg, post the hand, get up. When I go back the other way, I bring my arm in, whip, now I'm whipping this leg, Get up. Get up. 
get up. So you get the student going side to side, side to side, side to side, getting used to the motion. Remember, it's not a lot of scooting. I'm not shrimping, I'm not hip escaping. I'm using my core to elevate his foot off the mat. Watch his foot on the next few. So when I'm here, I don't want his foot to be solidly connected to the floor. Can you connect your foot? Like put it on the mat. What happens now guys, it's a different, this happens, but in this kind of deep half guard, I, I'm, I can't maneuver his leg because he has weight on his leg. This is, a, if a guy starts to stand up like this, I might still get up, it's a part of it. But for the basics of deep half guard, you have a, a training partner who grapples with you on the mat, he's gonna drop that left knee. When he drops that left knee, you have to now use your legs. Look, see his foot comes off the mat. When his foot comes off the mat, because I get his weight here, try to put that foot. You see how like, I'm bringing you that way. Now I can maneuver either direction and I can spin quickly and efficiently. If you find yourself stuck under the, the guy in the deep half guard, make sure we, what is ideal for us is we need to have his weight over there and not on his foot in the half guard. So that's why when we get back to the basics, come back on top, basic half guard, I wanna get his weight off of this leg. So however you get that done is how you're gonna play it. So when I'm going here and the guy starts to knee slice, maybe he stands up. If he stands up and he's trying to come through, at some point during this fight, I have to get his weight to this leg so that now this is free. See the swinging? It's free so I can swing efficiently. Go ahead and lay on your back, Dill. So, we're gonna get you here. Good. Let's move over here in the black so everybody can kind of see clearly. Get here, like this. Okay, so now I'm gonna put Dylan in position like this. You see the deep half guard? You're gonna pull this elbow in. You never want me to under. Beautiful. Nice. Now the first. See where my knee is pointing? Yep. So you just kind of pop out, yeah. And then now you're here, good. And obviously a sweep would come. And you notice his leg is still holding my foot so I can't run and bail. It's really hard to do that. So now come back through with your head, perfect. Now on this one, watch what I'm gonna do. When you try to come up this way, look at how I turn my hip and my knee. Yeah. When I do that, I might be working on a counter deep half guard move. There's counters, remember, but we're only teaching you his move. But I do have counters, of course, okay? This is not an unbeatable system, okay? It's easily countered. If a guy on top knows what to do, it can be countered easily at times. So now, it doesn't mean it's not effective, by the way, when I say easily. It just means who knows what. Okay, so when he's here, now what I want you to do is whip that leg because my, you see? And then sometimes when you do that in the real world, what happened to me? I ended up on my butt. You'll see that sweep happen a lot, just like that, and then you got the easiest sweep in the world. But instead, I'm gonna stay on my knee. So now you're gonna go ahead and roll back underneath. Don't dive your head under, though. See, sometimes guys will dive. No, 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 go back, rewind. Sometimes, go all the way to your knees. This is the big mistake when you do the drill. Don't dive your head first. Because now what's happened, I'm on this side. You see, I've got his leg right here. I can go for a knee bar. We can get to the honey hole or the, the saddle position. So go ahead, you're gonna always have your head here at first. When you pop out the back, it, your head is the last thing to disappear. So watch, his arm, elbow in, elbow in, and then you see his head pops out and now it's too late for me to go for that knee bar. It's too late. Now go ahead and go back through. Your head will come first. Nice, he's in position. Whip the leg and come right up, whip. Beautiful. See that? Now let's say I'm throwing you back down. Boom. Cool. Nice. And pop right up. Nice. Now just go back through, back side to side. Go fast. Nice. Get used to going through. Yeah, don't dive your head first. Your head's the last. Go. Pop up. Pop up. This one. Go. And pop up. 
Yes, and go. Good. You're a little tight on my leg. Don't be too tight. Relax on your legs. You'll flow faster. You'll whip up to your, your knees faster. And also, the, the, you won't have the drag issue where you hold on to the guy's leg and the friction actually slows your move. Do you understand? Yeah. Like, loosen the leg and just flow. Go. Nice. Just never let the foot out. But go. Flow one more time. Sweet. Okay. All right. So, guys, that's your, uh, your next video. Obviously, there's very fancy things, but off the deep half guard. And uh, we'll show you some more in another video. So tune in. But this is probably just the bread and butter. The bread and butter, most basic stuff for deep half guard. Um, obviously, there's a lot more, but if you stick with this drill, I'm telling you, you're probably gonna surprise a lot of people out there unless they are very familiar. And the cool thing is, it, deep half guard still is kind of obscure. I mean, obviously, really good players know it, but overall, most people practice, you know, closed guard, open guard type moves and, and butterfly guard. You know, those are the more popular things. Um, so when you start playing deep or, or basic half guard or knee shield, which is always in different variations of knee shield. So um, when you start playing deep half guard, you're gonna throw off some of your opponents for sure, um, unless they're really, really familiar. So it's, good, uh, it's gonna be really good to have this tool in your toolbox. All right, thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you, Dylan. All right, guys, teach me grappling, like, share, subscribe and the description box it contains some links if you guys want to support this channel through patreon or through paypal or if you want to become a part of our youtube membership you can do so become a member and uh i really appreciate all of you guys that do so already and i'll be back next time with more great stuff i didn't say more i didn't say more